All right, so Pal World just got the biggest update since its release that literally fixes my biggest concerns. Problems with the base building, with pals not completing their jobs, and especially you're finally able to reset your character without losing the Lift Monk effigies. Plus many more we're gonna discuss in this video as I did a bunch of tests, so let's jump right in. Let's get started with my favorites. They finally made it possible for you to still move when you are fully over encumbered. So now what you're going to notice is that your character will instead move at a very slow speed. This is going to be possible no matter how much weight you have after going or exceeding the limit of the red zone. So if you have like 1700 or 34,000, you're still going to move at the same speed. Albeit very slow, it's still going to give the possibility to at least close the distance and bring them back to your next deposit box. Another major change is that players will no longer pass through walls when dismounting. And I actually put this to the test, it's absolutely true. I actually tested possibly the most tight cave in the entire game, I went on my jet dragon and I tried to clip as much through it as possible, but it just didn't happen. The character just gets placed down at the bottom of that location without clipping through any walls, so I'm glad to say that this is 100% fixed. Previously, you would just get stuck through a ton of tunnels and a lot of the dungeons when trying to go with your dragons or with your oversized mounts. Well, fret no more, this is now fully fixed. Another one is that they fixed an issue with the strengthening of the Liftmonk effigies which were getting reset when using memory reset drugs. So again, I went ahead, I crafted the drug and yes, it's totally possible to finally reset your character without suffering from any bugs. So if you had any problems or did not properly build your character focusing on the weight limit, focusing on the HP and the stamina, then you can finally go ahead and do so again. Now, it's going to take a while until you can craft the memory reset bug at the electric um, medicine station, but it's totally worth it if you messed things up in the early stages. Another one is that they fixed an issue where armor could be equipped in the wrong slot. I, again, tested this, no longer works. Previously, you could have one, two, three, even up to four different armor sets equipped in different slots, especially in the accessory ones. So yes, that's also been fixed, then you can no longer stack those buffs. And finally, another one of my favorites in the player issues category, they adjusted the camera position of several pals to make it easier to see when mounted. Jet Dragon was notorious when using the mounted rocket launchers because it would just clip through a portion of its body. Well, that no longer happens at all this time around. You will just have the camera panned out very far away and you can better see literally everything that you're shooting at. So it just makes it a breeze and a lot more fun than it's ever been. Let's move over to the base issues though because I absolutely love these ones and especially for all of you breeders out there, you will be very pleased to know that when you manually assign pals to breeding farms in the new update, they will no longer become hungry and their manual assignments will no longer be removed. I'm sure that many of you noticed that your pals kept going back to eating or reverting back to other types of activities. Well, I tested this out as well and they no longer do that. They just stay in the breeding farm, they breed for you as much as you want, and you never have to worry about the AI going haywire. Plus, it never made sense in the first place for them to go hungry when you literally gave them the best cakes in the entire game. Another pretty significant change is that the key to lift pals has been changed from F to V and on the gamepad from X to Y in order to prevent accidents. And let me tell you, it does make a huge difference. In this case, you no longer have to worry about accidentally activating other stuff like accidentally mounting your dragon or just accessing some of the other base elements. You're just going to be able to pick them off the ground, even from the middle of the most packed farm and bring them to wherever you want to. Moving on, we have reduced the speed and range of fire spreading on wooden buildings. This might help a ton when you create wooden structures so that raids don't destroy them as easily. They also fixed an issue where manual work assignments could not be set at all under certain circumstances. And I'm sure many of you noticed this too, getting that red error message 
with your pal not being able to detect any work in the area so that i can confirm it's been fixed however still keep in mind that you will get that error if that pal is on cooldown or when they don't have the capacity to use that assignment moving on we have fixed an issue where extremely high level relaxorus would attack the base during the raids another one is that they added several measures to prevent base spells from getting stuck i finally noticed this also being the case Though keep in mind that you can still wall off pals if you make your base a little bit too tight. For example, maybe placing too many objects very close to one another. They might still bump in them, but eventually they will find a way around and they will still make their way to their destination. And from here, it's just a ton of fixes to pals not doing their jobs properly. So fixes to them getting stuck while transporting items and even dropping them on the spot without bringing them to their destination. Others include continuing to cut down trees that were already cut. Also, just dying in general or being on the verge of death due to unexplained falling damage. And even like floating under some conditions has been addressed in this case. And finally, they fixed an issue where if a farm was built on the second floor or above, work pals would be able to move on the floor below. This was, um, yeah, just a bug previously that prevented them from moving. There are a few more, but more in the corrupt save file category. So they implemented a fix for that too for when the game would always crash and save data would be corrupted when the guild's total number of pals captured reached around 7000. So a quick note here is that the game no longer crashes even if the total number of captured objects exceed 7000. However, the save data that has already been corrupted or in this state, so for example in the case of a server, the server's world data prior to this update will still be unable to load. So they are still working to fix that on a permanent basis, but still keep in mind that maybe your old save files might not work because of that. And there are many other crashes that were also addressed, so just the game world crashing in general. Another one was for the player pals, including the ones at the base. Um, if they were below 30% HP, it could be possible to be captured by another player, so that was also addressed. And they also fixed an issue where enemy pals would get stuck in walls due to the charge attacks. I'm sure that many of you noticed that, especially during raids. And of course, last but not least, a feature that you probably didn't even know was missing, or maybe you did, but they added support for mouse side keys and the numeric keypad on keyboard key configuration, so that you can now bind certain actions to these keys as well and just have quick access to them, especially if you have something like a gaming mouse or just some of those shortcuts on your keyboard, gaming keyboard, you can totally make use of them, but it should also work on general mice and whatnot. In any case, the future for PAL World looks absolutely bright and yeah, so far they sold over 19 million copies. A total of 19 million players are playing right now on all platforms, well, Steam and Xbox mainly. Steam being by far the leader here with 12 million copies sold, followed by Xbox at 7 million, which is still absolutely amazing. I mean, this has to be one of the best launches in gaming history. Of course, there were others, but this is absolutely crazy. Plus, the future is going to look even better for those of you who do want additional servers because in the future, um, it seems that the Palworld team have promised they would provide support to enable dedicated servers, offering engineering resources to help with GPU and memory optimization, speeding up the process to make Palworld updates available for players and working with the team to optimize the title for our platform so lots of stuff coming up as always let me know down below what you think thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one